What is going on, guys? It is another weekend, and I actually have a ton of crap to do right now. And it's been, uh, I wouldn't say distracting, but I've been traveling down to like Salt Lake City every other weekend, essentially. And sometimes that takes me away from uh, doing work on the computer. Majority of my hobbies slash side hustles slash everything else that I really want to do with my life deals with me staying at home and on the computer just to get my life in order. And one of these things, since it is a Sunday today, one of these things, these side hustles, is my uh, fitness coaching business. I have two personal clients right now, online clients that I work with each and every week. And I look over their, their data that they submit to me. And I have my own Excel sheets, things that I've built personally. And then they give me info. Because of this, I usually take an hour or two on a Sunday to give my clients the attention that they need and for me to review everything so I could give them as much feedback and info as much as possible. In addition to that, give them direction. And it is actually what I am currently doing right now. I have Dom as one of my clients. And so sometimes we chat on um, WhatsApp. And of course, I send him like an update email on this. So... It takes a little bit of time for me to review everything because I do require a lot of measurements and a lot of data with my coaching just because I like being thorough. I also coach for Armando Nava's Beast Recruit Training. That's his business. That's his um, actual company. So I am his head coach and also manager, like operations manager. So there's a project that we are doing right now that requires a little bit of I kind of created it and curated and brought it up to him. And so he was willing to do it. So I'm running with that. In addition to that, I also coach uh, the clients that we have signed up for Beast Recruit Training. So that is the other clients that I have to deal with. And usually that client pool is a little bit bigger than mine because he has a lot bigger following and stuff like that. So I have to do that right now. And it is not really that much work. It just takes a little bit of time for me to do it because I just need to sit down and concentrate and do it. Because there is so much going on at home on top of me having a day job, right? I have to make sure that I'm on track with different things that I'm doing with my hobbies and side hustles. So one tip that I have found very, very helpful through some podcasts, I think I got it from Andy Frisella's MF CEO project. His podcast is a very entrepreneurial and about just improving productivity and just doing something with your life. So with that being said, I have been listening to his stuff for probably four or five months now. And one of the things that he recommends doing is this power list. So really, this is a to-do list right here, but it is not any to-do list. It is just five things each and every day that I need to be doing in order to progress with my businesses, with my hobbies, and with my endeavors in life. So this can be anything. It could be from like personal uh, it could be business related, it could be hobby related, it could be just like self-development related. As long as it is on this power list, it tells me that it is very important and if I don't do this, then I am not going to be progressing in my business or whatever objective I'm trying to achieve. And sometimes it, I don't get all these things done and um, this helps me keep on track to making sure if I don't do it the next day, then I basically lose that day. Like I write a big L on on the sheet of paper. So an example is right here. Uh, here, just yesterday, February 15th. And I, I write sometimes Insta posts, even though it has become a habit a little bit. But I make this a priority because sometimes I just don't have content and I have to create the content, right? This Insta post and then create a quote for BRT. This is the Instagram that we run and also calculate monthly expenses, which is the last one is just a video idea for YouTube. So just these three things, even though it's not five things, these three things took me the whole day, mainly because I was not at home for majority of the day yesterday. So... That's why I have three things, but usually it is five things in order for me to keep on track and in order for me to have enough things to do so 
I could continually progress. Either way, I'm done talking. I'm going to go work on some clients and uh, spend a little bit of tonight just with just hanging out and distressing a little bit, even though I have been distressing for the past two days. I just have to get back on track. So I'm trying to balance my social slash dating life and my business side hustle stuff um, on top of everything. So it is... Uh, it is a task to do. It, it it takes some mastery, and I'm still struggling to find that balance. Even though I thought I did, um, like a few few months uh, a year ago and stuff, but it is a lot harder than I thought. So, dot thought. Wow, can't speak. All right, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to my clients right now. And 24 hours later, I lost a day yesterday because I did not accomplish every single task on my to-do list. Sick, Alex. Sick, dude. Anyways, I just want to go a little bit deeper into this power list, which I have created for today, which is a Monday. With this list, I have gotten essentially things done faster than I thought I would. And also, I have pushed myself to go a little bit beyond my comfort zone. And what I exactly mean just in this specific time is that like one of my goals is to get at least eight hours of sleep per day. I am a very big health person and I'm very into fitness. So that is one of my priorities. But on top of that, I have more priorities, right? So I really, really, really have to prioritize my priorities, if that makes any sense. Right now in my current stage of life, I am prioritizing my side hustles and uh, side hobbies, side, side businesses, things like that, that I do on the side, such as like this YouTube channel, a little bit higher than my health. And this has changed over the past like year or so when I took my health as like one of my top priorities, but now it is more towards like stuff that may actually bring me additional income. So with that being said, I am sacrificing a little bit of sleep right now because I actually have to wake up at freaking four or no, 3.30 tomorrow, but I have to get some things done. And one of these things is to finish this YouTube video, finish filming to be more specific. And the second thing that I need to do is to list some clothes on Poshmark. And I will go into a little bit deeper on what Poshmark is in just a minute. But to finish off talking about this power list that I got from Andy Frisella, it essentially has brought me more, I wouldn't say discipline, I would say like a better schedule, right? I have focused and refocused myself on different things that I want to accomplish. And with this list, it gives me specific to do things that I have to get accomplished in order to progress maybe like a 0.5% on my way to um, whatever my goal is for my side businesses and side hustles and things like that. So I highly recommend people who really want to get things done. So I highly recommend people to actually start their own list, their own power list. And it's as simple as that, legitimately label, date, your day, and then list five things, five essential tasks that you need to accomplish in order to grow your, your own self or the things that you need to progress in your relationships, the things you have to progress in your health, or the things that you just have to get things done in your house in order to be a decent and contributing human being to society. So what I use this mainly for is just my hobby slash side businesses, side hustles, things like that, because that is important to me. Having this list will help you get a sense of accomplishment because you will see the streaks that you create yourself and you will not want to like lose that streak once the days keep on going. In addition to that, it keeps you accountable because you will see that L, you will see that lose. Whatever you choose to write your five essential task on, you will see that big ass L right next to that specific date because you did not accomplish it. And that is a, just a little bit of like a personal ego kind of thing, right? You keep yourself accountable by essentially saying like, you're not good enough 
on that day because you chose to prioritize something else that was not on your essential list. It has been really helpful. I highly recommend people to start using it because it has gotten, I have good benefits from it and it's just five things to do. Like it's super simple and having that five task keeps you on track instead of just like watching Netflix all for good nights or going on your phone on social media and things like that. But either way, I'm gonna get on to listing my clothes on Poshmark. So what I just did there was take product photos essentially from my phone. It's super simple and I'm listing some clothes that I do not use. Essentially Poshmark is like an eBay slash Instagram on clothes. You specifically sell clothes on there. I have seen like random stuff like shoes and just like anything revolving apparel, you could resell it on Poshmark and people just buy it outright, but they don't, I don't think you could bid, but you could also trade and stuff. So that's what I'm currently doing. I'm listing all of the clothes that I do not wear and have just picked out in my closet because I just haven't touched it in either more than a year or only used it once in the past year. So. I'm listing that out so I could get a little bit of cash. For me, this is not going to be like a really a side business unless I go into like reselling and go into to other places and just buying stuff on a lower price and then reselling it out. Right now, I have several pieces of clothes. I think I have five or six, oh man, I probably have like eight pieces of clothes to shoot. So I need to get to it and hopefully I'll be done before 10 o'clock. So I, uh, yeah, I had more clothes than I thought and um, I need to head to bed. So I tried my best um, and I've noticed that some of my clothes are probably not even worth selling or worth the time. Anyways, I count this for a win because I list majority of the luxurious items or the more worth it items and hopefully get some dough coming in. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully you use this list. I'm gonna freaking check it off right now. Ba-bam, ba-bam, and W for today. And it starts again tomorrow. So catch you guys in the next video. Hope you Hopefully you use that list and it will be increasing your productivity by like tenfold because it really did help me narrow down my focus and hopefully that will do the same thing for you. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not done so already, smash the thumbs up button and I will see you guys later. See you later, dude. You ain't know you dealing with a monster. Let her go cause she a prima donna. Sweating me like she be in a sauna. Trying to bend her down in Tijuana. Is that a money taller than the plaza? Got a lot of drip when I'm